And so ends the 2021 NFL season with the Rams winning the Super Bowl 23 to 20. Uh, my picks were pretty much all over the place. I was eight and seven, so I end the season for the postseason at least 29 eh, 31. That's not bad, that's okay. Uh, well, this whole postseason was crazy. To begin- this whole season in general was crazy to begin with. This was an easy pick because you know, no one kicks off to the returner anymore. Uh, any other player it was Odell. Congrats to him, even though he went out. We'll get more on that later. Uh, yeah, the Bengals' offense was pretty much shut. They threw a touchdown, but it wasn't by Joe Burrow. So, yeah. Long's offensive play in the first half. I missed it by 11 yards. Would be tied at any point in the second half. I was right on that one. More passing yards. I missed it by 20. Although I think I, I think if they didn't, uh, more on that later. Actually, no. I think if they converted the fourth down, maybe I would have got that. Who knows? They were there was enough space. More rushing yards. The Bengals' rush defense shut down the Rams' offense for when they run when they ran the ball. Joe Mixon was like nothing during the postseason run, but then he goes off. And vice versa for Cam Akers, but whatever. Uh, this one hurts because I believe if Odell didn't get hurt, he would have gone off. And we'll get more into that later. Uh, was right on this one. Uh, whatever. And Aaron Donald helped me out in the fourth quarter on this one. The Bengals only got one sack, so I was happy with that. I thought there would have been one, but I guess it was too much to ask. And this one, it was just like three yards. So, here we go. Um, I was right that there would be less than 49 points scored. I didn't think it would be that much of a high-scoring game. Uh, you know... At least someone would have gotten 20 points and all that. Uh, I feel like Matthew Stafford would have, should have got it. Or Aaron Donald. Cooper Cup getting it. Yeah, he did step up. But, you know. I guess Stafford lost it because of the interceptions he threw. And I was actually close for the total yards recorded in the game. So, go me. So, let's go over this game real quick. So... I know the biggest topic is that, oh, the refs helped the Rams out so they could get the touchdown and the lead and all that mess with the whole defensive holding penalty and then the pass interference penalty, giving the Rams new downs and all that. But for those who are who are, are calling out that those calls, y'all need to get your head out your ass in all seriousness. Because nothing can beat the reason why the Rams had to go for the touchdown to get the lead. Then the refs missing the obvious offensive pass interference or offensive face mask on Jalen Ramsey. That led to the Bengals scoring a touchdown. It's like, it's 13-10. to 10, Coming out of halftime, Rams have the three-point lead. Joe Burrow throws a, t- a pass to his receiver on the left side. The receiver tugs Jalen Ramsey's face mask. He falls to the ground. The ball is caught, and he runs untouched to the end zone. And you want to complain about the two actual penalties on the Rams scoring drive to take the lead. Like, seriously, you can't be serious. Y'all stupid. Like, real stupid. I paused and I lost my train of thought. I was talking about how people were upset about the penalties at the end of the game. 
And the thing you got to realize is that the first holding penalty that was called was correct. If you look at the replay, even when you slow it down, you see the defender's hands. If he had just had him from the back of the jersey, that would have been one thing. But you see his hands on the front of his jersey. And that right there is going to get the attention of the ref, especially since you have orange hands on a white jersey because of the gloves. The ref's going to see that. And the fact that he sees that your hands were on the front of his jersey and then you pull yourself forward to block to deflect the ball instead of fighting through the, the, the receiver to break it up, that's going to be called as defensive holding. And then you get upset about the pass interference, which was pass interference. Like he's breaking away and he's literally holding them. You can see it. But the thing that really needs to be noted, and it has to be said, the game was suspect the moment they didn't call the OPI on Jalen Ramsey on that touchdown at the start of the third quarter. You call that, it's first and 20, first and 25, depending on how they call the penalty. Bengals. The score is still 13 to 10 Rams. And you got to look at, or it's half the distance to the goal, whatever, wherever they were, because it was a touchback. So it would probably be half the distance to the goal, half the distance to the goal. But you got to look at it. The Bengals offensively were not moving the ball. They had that one good drive in the first half that led to them getting a touchdown by Joe Mixon, who threw the ball. But other than that, they weren't moving the ball that well. Even after they got the interception, um, after the the BS touchdown, they could only get a field goal out of it. That just shows you that the Rams' defense was stuffing up the Bengals' offense. They were stuffing them. I think it was, I think they got what fifty eight yards of offense in the second half. And you want to tell me the Bengals should have won that game? The Rams were moving the ball better than they were, even though they couldn't run the ball. In all honesty, the Rams had this game won the moment they scored first. The moment they scored first. Even when the Bengals went up, got and even when the Bengals got the field goal, and people are, are, are calling out that, what about the Ramsey? Uh, DPI on well, who was it? Higgins at the goal line. That's if you want to call that, then you can't be upset with the actual holding penalty in the fourth quarter. There's there was a different though. The ref's not going to call that, even though Ramsey was tugging the jersey. The ball still got to the receiver, and Ramsey broke it up. But you look at the one that happened on Cup, the defender actually gets and pulls Cup so he can get the actual deflection. They're two different things. But the game was lost anyway by the Bengals, especially when they went for it on fourth down at midfield. Like you, you're down. To what it was? What it was either zero to zero, or seven to zero, and you didn't convert. And the Rams go down, score another touchdown. Yeah, they missed. They messed up the extra point. I missed it. Messed it up because the holder. I don't know how. He but he messed it up. So it's thirteen to three, thirteen to zero, whatever. Then you score a touchdown. And you get up there. It's thirteen to ten going into halftime. You that game was still the in the Rams' hands. Still in their hands. Even when uh, Stafford threw that interception into the end zone, it's an arm punt. It was third down. You're at the 20. What what you going to do? Like, you can't, you can't be mad at one thing when it actually happened, but ignore something that happened earlier. Like, people are so upset that the... Refs were f- starting to throw flags 
But we all know that if it had end, if the game had ended the way it was, twenty to sixteen, then we'd be talking about the whole um, lack of flag for the um, touchdown the Bengals had at the start of the third quarter. But no one will care because oh, Joe Burrow it took the Bengals and won, in the second year won a Super Bowl. He's the next new Tom Brady. Everyone knew it. Every, that was the headline. That was the headline and the narrative they wanted for Joe Burrow. He's the next Brady. Because Brady's retired, and apparently we need another Brady. So we need to make Joe Burrow the next Tom Brady. Even though it's funny how everyone was like, oh, Mahomes is going to be the next Brady. Allen's going to be the next Manning. That's what they were talking about when the Bills and the Chiefs played in the divisional. They were going back and forth, and at the end of the game, they were like, man, this is the new Man and Brady matchup of, our, of this new generation. Then Mahomes and the Chiefs lose to the Bengals, and now it's like, oh, now Bur- Burrow's the new Brady. Like, what? You can't, you can't set up a narrative, say that this team's going to have a dynasty when it's only their first time getting there. Like, so, like, say what? Let's say... Say the Lions have a great season next se- next year. They get they have a twelve and five record. They go, they they sweep. They go through the playoffs no problem. They get to the Super Bowl and win. Are they the next dynasty? Stop with this whole dynasty uh, mess and just let the guys play. Let the game happen. The problem and the problem people are having is that. They were fine with everything at the start to the third quarter and early half of the fourth quarter. But they are upset, more upset with what happened at the end of the game than they are with what happened earlier. And the thing that the thing a lot of people are trying to draw a parallel to is when the Saints Rams, what was it, the conference championship back a few years ago? Like I was upset about that one. It's like that was pass interference. So if you, and they had called that, then the Saints run the clock down, kick a field goal, and leave the Rams with like what less than twenty seconds left. Hardly any flags are thrown in that game, but now people are like, the ref, like the refs, are, they were all like the refs are in, need to keep the flags in their pockets. But when it happened, now it's like the refs need to start throwing flags. So when they throw a flag, y'all get upset. It's like, y'all need to keep your flags in your pocket. You, you can't please people. You can't please people. You're more upset with what happened at the end of the game, even though it was legit penalties, but you want to ignore what happened earlier because it happened earlier in the game. Keep in mind, the Bengals had time left on the clock. They had two timeout, one or two timeouts left over a minute, I think. And apparently, uh, a great rookie kicker that hadn't missed a field goal in the postseason. All you had to do was get in the field goal range, force overtime. You had the time, more time than the Rams did um, when the when they went up against the Saints. At least they had a timeout or so, or two. That Rams defense, especially the pass rush of Aaron Donald and that entire defensive line, they made adjustments in the second half. Burrow was sacked zero, to, I think, zero times in the first half. He was sacked seven times in the second. Like, what, you, what, what are you, what are you talking about? Like you want to, like you want to tell me that the Bengals could have won this game. They couldn't even slow down Odell Beckham. He had two catches for 52 yards and a touchdown. Then he gets, and then he gets, he gets, out, he gets taken out for a non-contact injury. You can't tell me that Odell going down didn't change the entire uh, story of that game. Everyone wants to double Cooper Cup. Odell's free to do what he wants. Jefferson, he leaves because he needs to go see his wife who's pregnant or in labor, giving birth to his son. 
Congratulations to him, by the way. You want to tell me that you, you, you could stop the run game, but you couldn't stop the passing game. Odell going down benefited the Bengals immensely. And if Odell doesn't go down, he's MVP for the Super Bowl. Because you couldn't stop him. You're tr- you want to keep Cup, you want to keep him silent, Odell's wide open. Like most of Cup's catches came at the last drive for the Rams of the lead. You can't tell me if, if Odell's out there, he doesn't do go off, man. Come on now. Seven sacks by the def- Rams defense. The Bengals only had what? One? Two. They had two sacks. But the first one, I don't even remember when they got the second one. I know the first one was in the first quarter. Did they, uh, and then he's like, yo, you can't you can't tell me you get into the uh, get into the Rams, man. But you can't you can't just also get mad about the whole penalty thing. And the Bengals weren't playing that well. Come on. 3 for 14 on third downs. 1 for 3 on fourth. You, you you can't you can't be serious. You can't convert on third down. You can't convert on fourth. But you want to get mad about the the penalties at the end of the game. Okay, whatever. Seven sacks allowed, and you want to get mad at the penalties at the end of the game. That Bengals O line was ab- obliterated in the late third, fourth, entirety of the fourth quarter. People want to say, oh. He, that Burrow had Chase open down the field because Ramsey fell. Burrow is getting taken down by Aaron Donald by the time he falls, man. Come on now. L.A. had that game won from the start. The moment they scored first. Get out of here.